white puffy bodies with like the skulls sticking out. And it was like, you don't mess with these tribes. Joe, but if there's any way to die, uh, that's a good one. If I'm out in the Amazon, there's nothing that's going to attack me. In India, you might have you might have a, an old leopard or a tiger that's missing a tooth that yeah. decides your prey. Or you might have an angry elephant that's in must, just decides to flatten you. In the Amazon, the jaguars won't even let you see them. I, I th most of the people that I meet don't actually really understand how isolated these people are or how weird it is that we're sitting here and that we have iPhones and airplanes and all this stuff and these people are living naked in the forest at this moment. No, just by default, they're modern tribes mm -hmm. living now. They just happen to be living out in the jungle. And there's a huge debate about, you know, do we try and contact them and bring them in? It was the trauma of the rubber boom that sent them out that far into the forest and made them terrified of the outside world. And so that's also what made them so hyper-violent. One of the guys we work with on our team, Victor, was, he was coming down river and he had a load of mahogany wood. And he's piloting this boat. And he sent two people husband and wife ahead to go start cooking breakfast on the beach so they could put the little kitchenette thing down and pick put the propane he sent them ahead they go ahead reach the beach they get out he starts cutting some cane to start put making a fire tribe comes out no warning they just start screaming they start shooting arrows the man instantly gets an arrow through the leg and it pins his leg so he can't run he tells his wife go save yourself and she does she jumps in the water there's arrows falling around her too and as she's floating down the river she looks back and the last thing she sees is these guys getting to her husband and beginning to rip him apart. As Victor comes down the river, this is a guy we work with every day, he comes down the river and sees his friend disemboweled, opened up, dissected, his parts are all over the beach, the beach is red. And on the, on the, on the, the sort of the underground WhatsApp chain of the Amazon, um, some loggers went up and tried to steal a few trees from where the tribes were. And then everybody sent the pictures of what the loggers looked like after a few days because the tribes porcupined them with arrows. They were laying there on the ground with just arrows sticking out of their bodies. The, eventually the authorities came out and looked and there was just these white bodies. I'll show you the pictures later. There's just these white puffy bodies with like the skulls sticking out. And it was like, you don't mess with these tribes.